nice <coughs> indigenous aloferox looking beautiful there are like so many benches um yeah that's a sneaky path if you're scared to go across the bridge you can just do look, that look 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 here look you can video someone lit it and there's a bin like right there literally <laughs> a bin even earlier we saw a cool drink and there's like bins everywhere this place is so well maintained and people still come out and disrespect the nature um but yeah you should definitely bring snacks because there's so much like wonderful seating with excellent views lake Iland has the longest zip line in africa if you look over here here's another zip line there's around uh 14 of them and it's around one and a half kilometers sorry four and a half kilometers a little bit of an overhang lots of benches on your way up and down to chill okay so this is the cave there's a whole lot of information on the bushmen their origin how they live hunt their societies um, you can see a bit of rock art on these rocks below these loose ones it's a bit different to how we normally see in the Drakensberg um, there's a little bit more here some people these look like horses to me I don't know if they are or are not um, Drakensberg we usually see it like on the actual cave walls but here it's really well preserved and protected as we can see there's got fences around it and we've got this whole cave to explore. Maybe people can't touch it and vandalize it like this. Yeah, protecting from all of that. As you can see, the fence is there for good reason. Sometimes in places in the Drakensberg, there's terrible erosion or there's a lot of graffiti and damage. And well, then your rock art's lost anyway. So we're going back up. Coming down literally took us like six minutes. So let's see how long it takes to get back up view from the little benches not bad at all this is a view from one of the viewpoints on their drives in Lake Eland and down here under this little walkway first of all look at this really well maintained walkway to the viewpoint uh, to the viewpoint um, and yeah down here you can see the MTB track which Hamza will be checking out tomorrow so he'll let you know how that goes little viewing deck and guess where it's of the famous 80 meter suspension bridge at Lake Eland. This bridge, interestingly, was built in 2004 and was actually put up by the owners of Lake Eland, Trevor and Eric Dunstan. Very interesting men who are who were very hands on with the whole construction of this place. Pregnant wives are gonna go pee in the highest long drop in Africa, <laughs> definitely. And it has. Pretty clean. Nice view. Running water. Um, super well maintained, really easy stairs down to the bridge. So anyone, all ages can do this. As long as you don't have a phobia of heights. And this is the bridge. We're gonna head over there and we'll show you the view. Like I said, 80 meters, made in 2004. Oh, there's railings. Super high, super secure. Um, Drop your phone there. Yeah, if you drop your phone, it's all good. There's also a path if you want to not come on the bridge, but still get to the other side. That's the view. And that's our destination. Some of us love heights. Some of us are scared. <laughs> yeah. Nice <coughs> indigenous aloferox. Looking beautiful. There are like so many benches. Um, yeah, that's a sneaky path. If you're scared to go across the bridge, you can just do look, that. Look, look, look here. Look, you can video someone lit it and there's a bin, like right there. Literally <laughs> a bin. Even earlier we saw a cool drink and there's like bins everywhere. This place is so well maintained and people still come out and disrespect the nature. Um, but yeah, you should definitely bring snacks because there's so much like wonderful seating with excellent views. Another little viewpoint. This place is incredible. Um, now we're here in the evening. I think 
it might be nice in the morning because the sun will be in this gorge. Good morning from Lake Ilan. So I'm going to start with the MTB trails. There's a 5k, 25 and 45. I'm going to try for the 45. They have their own trails. It's not the same trails as the dirt road. Came for a morning cycle and there is the world's tallest mammal. Beautiful, beautiful trails. So as you can see, we are nowhere near any roads. So definitely worth cycling here. Get to see animals and take in the beautiful scenery. So here's the lake. If you don't have a 4x4, no problem. This is for 4x4s or for MTB. Because we need to go through the water. Let's do it with our bikes. Look how beautiful the campsites are and the accommodation as well. Stunning, right? Right by the lake. Beautiful. Now we continue the cycle. Now we're cycling on the 4x4 track. It's such a beautiful ride. The scenery is amazing. Oh. It has so many picnic sites, so many campsites, so many chalets. It's really a nature lover's paradise. I've seen so many games this morning, so many birds, so many good views. And you can explore this place on a mountain bike, 4x4 or even a normal car. I just want to show you the beauty of cycling on this trail. While on the trail, I see more game footprints on the ground than bicycle or human footprints. And there's so much of single track on this trail. So this part's only accessible with a mountain bike or you can even hike it. Welcome to Lake Eland. Earlier on, Hamza was here cycling. Now we're doing the vehicle drive, um, just like yesterday you can access most of the reserve of the car. Yesterday's roads were really good and they said, you know, it's for any car. Today's also says any car, we're not doing the 4x4 routes because we don't have one. But um, yeah, we'd recommend high clearance if you're coming to the lake because it, yeah, it's a bit bumpy. Here's the campsite, lakeside campsites. Now we're walking to a little island in the lake. We're gonna have a little picnic. Um, the campsite. I'll try and show them to you later. But each one has its own bystand, its own table, and a little shelter. So if it's raining, you can still do all the things. Everywhere there's bins, there's bystands, and everything's just super well maintained. You can see by the campsites there's also a jungle gym for the kiddos. Lake Eland has the longest zip line in Africa. If you look over here, here's another zip line. There's around uh, 14 of them and it's around one and a half kilometers, sorry, four and a half kilometers. One of the other zipline stations and look, they even have areas for you to chill and wait. So this is another picnic area on one of the drives. It's quite big. You have a brine area, bun, toilet, running water. And I think some animals. This place is so, so well maintained. There's so many picnic areas. And here we've got a secretary bird. With beautiful feathers. You're going to scare him. Let's see. Maybe it'll cross the road. Hello, Mr. Secretary bird. Another one there. Leaving us behind. Goodbye, Mr. Secretary Bird.
Those of you with tiny humans, worry not. Look at this awesome jungle gym with tiny zip lines for tiny babies. Swings, tire swing, um, an actual jungle gym at the back there. And over here, just over the lake, a baby suspension bridge. This is our little two sleeper cottage. This is a bush facing one. You get a lake facing one. This is a little carport. As you can see, there is nobody else around us. Just the bush. Up there is the actual reception. Walk inside. We have this little deck overlooking a little babbling brook. Sometimes the animals come down there. Little coffee table. I had my breakfast out there. Sorry, we're very comfortable. We moved in a bit. So all our stuff's here. But this is it. We got a really good midweek special. Where if you book two nights, you get 50% off. So we're spending two nights. We're paying five fifty a night for the two of us. Um, but normally if you come as a day visitor, you pay 75 rand entrance fee anyways. So we're getting quite a few days, so we're saving quite a bit. Yes. Okay, so on the special, it works out to 225 per person. So on the last day, it technically works out to 75 rand a person only because of the day, uh, the day price, for the, uh, the day visitor's price of 75 rand on each day, which is 150. So 225 minus 150. And yeah, it's super well kitted out, as you can see, toaster kettle, little stubborn, electric frying pan, fridge, microwave, all your little pots, and little bathroom. And yeah, this is really cool. If you come out here, outdoor shower. And they clean the place every day. Yeah, they get, get cleaned every day. Nice. Little wow. bride stand, very nice and private. We shouldn't out the table outside. I should. We hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's tons of activities to do at Lake Ilan. To sum up, you can go on two different game drives which are absolutely scenic. You can explore a cave with rock art. There's 45 kilometers of MTB and hiking trails. There's amazing birding to do. There's two swimming pools, there's a wonderful kiddies area, the place has its own restaurant. We recommend at least spending two nights at Lake Ilan. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will be uploading more travel content with tons and tons of information. Follow us on social media at Hidden Gem South Africa.